I'm here at Drexel Academy of Natural Sciences, where a chocolate exhibition was held, telling you everything you need to know about chocolate. You can stand under a life-size cacao tree and touch pods and seeds. You can even smell chocolate at this show. The exhibition Chocolate came to us earlier this year is a really wonderful overview of the history of chocolate and it also goes into the science of it. It begins with introducing you to the very interesting plants that cacao grows from. It's called Theobroma cacao. Theobroma actually means food of the gods and I think that, that that's pretty correct. So after you learn about how the plant grows and it's a really interesting tree, um, you learn about how people have used it through history and then at the very end there's a gift shop and who doesn't like that? The chocolate we eat and drink has a rich past and present that will surprise people. Chocolate actually comes from a plant, which I think people maybe know, but you have to kind of activate that knowledge. So when they realize that it comes from a really interesting tree, and then you know, secondarily learn about the really marvelous history of this bar, and then sort of how it's, how it's grown today and cultivated today, and ways in which it's impacting uh, sustainability and the global economy and the way that people interact with their environment, it's really, really important for us to um, make good decisions about the food we eat, including chocolate. But the people who grow chocolate used to use just the beans as money. If you wanted to buy a tomato, how many seeds do you need? Mm -hmm. Just one. All right, cool. Nice. This is my daughter Hazel and my daughter Olive. We came to see the chocolate exhibit. We enjoyed eating the chocolate probably more than anything else. <laughs> My personal favorite part of the exhibit is the, uh, the very opening experience when you walk in and you're transported to the rainforest and you hear the sounds of the rainforest um, and then there's this beautiful smell coming through the exhibit which is really you know, like a gorgeous chocolate smell and you learn about the cacao plant and how important it is and how strange of a, of a tree it is and there's some really interesting facts that go along with it. For example, the reason why we think humans ever started to consume cacao was because we saw monkeys eating it without any ill effects and so we knew it wasn't poison so we decided to start eating it too. Lucky for us, for D-News, I'm Lei Guo.